back to the channel, Tri5 Guy. Uh, this week we're going to be working on the 57 Chevy again. We're going to start putting the floor in for the trunk. Um, I'll show you right here. But uh, first off, thanks guys. Please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. Also, if you've got questions or suggestions, please hit the comment section and, and uh, ask away. I really appreciate it. Cheers, guys. All right, so what we've done is we've measured from uh, each side of the rail, from this rail to that outer rail, uh, comes up about 41 inches. Uh, from the center of this hole uh, to our existing tub is around about 18 and a eight inch on both sides, pretty square actually, but the tubs are still gonna move around. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, it's 18, uh, uh, 41 inches even. We're gonna probably come in one inch and measure you know uh so if it's half is uh, 20 and a half we're going to take an extra inch off and call it 19 and a half inches from the center line of the floorboard we're going to cut that off because the the lip that's on this uh floor we're going to put it back again so we want to do that we want it to have a an original type lip and then we're going to cut out this corner here and i'll show you that all right we've got the trunk floor pan up here we measured we've got those measurements again Transferred them over to here. Oh, the sun's it. Now the sun's coming out. It's glaring. Um, so what we did was we found the center line of the floor pan. Uh, so this is the center line. And by the how we did that is we just went the overall distance of this square flange from here. We measured it all the way across to this side and then divided that in half. We've got the center line. We did the same over there. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's over there as well. So... Then what we did was, we know that the frame, our frame rail is 41 inches from outside frame rail to outside frame rail. And then we marked it right here. Then we set out from where the frame rail sits, where there it is there, we went in an inch and a half because we want to put this flange back on to where we cut it so if that makes any sense so we're going to cut this out an inch and a half and we're going to put this back over to where the frame rail is so here's the frame rail right so we're going to put this section back over here so there's a, there's there's this is where the frame rail is so when you get this and you put this back on this here will line up with the frame rail so it'll look like an original um you know flange but just narrowed and the same on this side. So then at that point we scribed our line, which is the frame rail minus an inch and a half, because then we're gonna put this section back onto here, if you know what I mean. So this flange will be where the frame rail is, if you know what I mean. And then we measured from, Steve made up these sort of, what would you call these, Steve? Bolts. Yeah, they're bolts. It's, except the center line of the it's, bolt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we we Steve put up these bolts so we can you know it, it's picking up the center line of this hole so we went from the center line of this bolt I thought you're going to come up with a fancy name Steve for them oh the center line identifiers center line identifier right here so from the center center line identifier we went 18 and an eighth inch and then we marked it right here and then we got this square and now we're going to cut this out all the way up here and that'll give us enough room i'm gonna we're gonna try to get these this floor in um without taking the body mounts off and go underneath i know we're gonna fail but i just want to see now that we don't have tubs in it and we have these cut out maybe it'll slide in there it's just a maybe if not we're gonna have to undo the the bolts um that hold the body to the frame and then um put it in, back on steve would you like to point anything out uh with your finger just keep your keep your injuries protected <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so and next thing we're going to do is the towel pan needs to go on uh, sorry the towel pan brace which is there we're going to clean that up we're going to punch some holes into that and i'll just show you how i do it it's not necessarily the right way but i just drill out holes every three inches prepare the underneath of that and then weld that to the bottom of that.
So they're all cut out, 18 and a quarter back from the center line of this hole to here. Uh, we've got the width of uh, 40, uh, the width of 41 overall, 20 inches comes to about here. Don't forget, we took off an inch and a half so we can put back the original flange. So this is one and a half inches in further. So 20 and a half inches because of the 41 overall, less one and a half inches. So when this gets fitted, you will see the rail. That's because we're going to put back that lip on this side so it have a factory lip on it. So if you see that, now we're going to flip this over. I'm going to install the um, the brace, the uh, rear brace there for the uh, for the trunk floor. I'll be back with that. All right, so holes are drilled in the tail frame brace. Both sides cleaned up for the welds. I usually uh, clean up wherever it's going to be spot welded. I don't like trying to burn through this stuff here. It uh, contaminates the weld. And uh, so I don't do it. I mean, I ain't gonna go anywhere. Sometimes you have the clearance uh, around here. So this is tucked up against that. And I have done that because sometimes it sticks out. So make sure you do that. Make sure it fits in here nicely, both ends. Uh, Steve's gonna pull it down. Hopefully. Yeah, sort of like that. He's getting it in the middle, obviously, so it pulls down equally and not just one edge. Isn't that right, Steve? Yeah. Very smart man, aren't you, Steve? Yeah, Were you always like, smart like that? I get that all the time. Without trying to dent the tube, but it'll be all right. Tube brace, I mean. And that's it, and I'm gonna start welding that down. There you go, beautiful. Look at that. It's like a, uh, I won't say. <laughs> you know what I was gonna say, but I won't say it. So that's it there. We're gonna put one in the end there as well, I reckon, or we can move it once I weld it. So we're gonna to have to probably put those bigger, bigger ones as we go. We'll get that done, we'll weld that up, and here we'll be back. So we welded that on. Just just plug weld, plug weld them up. Um, you got to clean the, you got to clean the, uh, the coating off it because if you don't. It's just a mess. People say it's weld through primer. It is not weld through, through primer. It's just a coating. That's all it is. Anyway, that's ready, on, and uh, now I'm gonna we're gonna try to fit it. We're gonna try. See how we go. Please now. Want to get it and bring it over? Guys, we uh, muscled that pan in. Uh, we were taping, or I was videotaping, and I noticed the camera had turned off. But we got it sitting in there, and that tub's loose. Uh, show you there, see, it's just loose. This one here's still clamped in. 
uh, where it is. But here's the problem. We finally got the floor in, and a lot of you, uh, I did explain in the last video that these quarter panels were sagging and they didn't, they weren't lined up um, at all. So there was no bracing. I didn't, I wasn't going to brace it because it, it wasn't right. So as you can see, guys, see the difference between here and here. Now I'm 100% sure that that is supposed to be damn close to that. This side here is a bit closer. See that? What's going on is, is when they put the new floor in it, the actual floor pan of the car, they, I'll get under here and have a look, show you. And we, I did see this and so did Steve um, when we're putting it together, but I don't know if you can see that. You see that? You see those welds there? See how those two seams are supposed to line up and they're not. There, it's up that half inch so and you can see it goes out a square what I mean by that is the back of the car is welded up higher um, than the front of the car see it's almost perfect over there over the other side here is uh, a different again they welded it all over the place here but you can see that that rocker is welded or well, the floor pan is welded higher than the bottom of the rocker so uh it it needs to be uh, you know taken off and repaired and so what's going to happen is once we undo all those welds i'm going to start with this side here first undo those welds it's gonna uh, you know it's gonna lift the car up to the right height so we're going to get that done first guys it's a mess and we're finding more messes and messes, so it's not, there's only one way to do it, and, and that's right. So I'm going to start doing that next. And doing those welds, or grinding those welds off. That was my head. That hurt. Um, yeah, so there they are there, all those welds. Terrible. So here's another... Uh, another a view of it or another area this this um, area here I suppose we'll call it a swage or or whatever this here has to be the same height as this here see that see all this lip here this they've actually cut the top of this lip off while they're at it they've actually cut all this off and ground it down and lucky lucky they didn't even grind this down that has not been ground down so now I've got to take the welds off from underneath. Luckily, they've put one screw here, but here it is again. This here, this area here, this little gully or whatever you want to call it, has to be, has to be the same height as this here. So that's a good five-eighths of an inch. So by lowering that or essentially lifting the body up to that, so the whole body, the floor stays still. The floor stays still. The body lifts up it'll give us our clearance that we need underneath here and it'll lift this um, it'll lift this section here this section here will line up with that and then the trunk will close same with this side so all those welds are going to come off on that side we have to lift the body up so it's going to be fun that's why on instagram and on facebook and a few other people oh you got to brace the body no that's why i didn't brace the body because we knew we we're going to have to undo welds. If you start bracing the body where it was, right, then we have to take all them braces off to rebrace it. So, going to get into that now, undo all that stuff, and then uh, progress, move on, and we'll get this thing right. Okay, so we made some headway. I'll get back under here. I cut away all the I cut, a, cut away all the uh, welds off that and I started, we started to lift it up at that point there. So now we need to start lifting the actual body and through here. So now we'd, it's got this sort of a bow in the body. So we need to progressively lift it up so this is in line with that. And, uh, but already a big improvement. We just put it, lift up the body up there a bit um, to where it's supposed to be or round about. So it's very close uh, to where it's supposed to be. But obviously it's got a, a belly in the middle. So we're going to lift that up too. Get that right. And then we can start working on the back. So 
Uh, getting there. Getting there. A lot of work, but it's, it is getting there. That's for sure. I'll be back. All right, so another look at the floor, our cutouts for the tub. Now, don't forget, we're gonna add an inch and a half back on because we want that original flange. So that's how it's sitting at the moment. Cut back here. We have to make another flange from here to the tub. We knew that. That's gonna be the same. I'm gonna have to make that. So that's gonna be sort of the same. And then uh, same on this side, add that inch and a half back over. And then the flange will, I think it comes up and around. It's got a little bit of a high spot up here, like a goes uphill and then straight down and attaches to the tub. So that's what we're doing next. So now we're getting, trying to get this all, uh, we know that we've got a, a decent straight line up here, but it's got to go across that amount. So we're going to move the trunk lid next and then these areas here are full of Bondo. You can tell, look how much Bondo there's in there. Heap. So we're gonna take all that out. These, this has had a replacement section on there. We don't think they're in the right spot. So we're gonna to have to um, find out exactly where the steel is and, and uh, try to get it, try to get it fitting properly. We will. Same with this side here. I mean, it's not gonna be like this, but at the moment, these quarter panels are loose. Once we get that right and ready for the tail pan, well, then we'll make a couple of braces from the back and set up the lock and latch. All right, under here, we've taken all the welds off that they had. The outer rocker was lower by a half inch on this side alone. So we've got it all back where it's supposed to be. We had to grind all the welds off and then lift up the car. We used that stick there on that jack and lifted it up up under there lift the whole back of the car up straight up in the air and then we got the rocker pretty damn straight now it had a big bow in it but like i said we're going to replace all this here all the work they did here got to all cut that out and replay it properly clean it up um so get that done this side too all done Tack welded back together over there, up there, all the way across, all held on by a clamp. So we're going to drill the holes through this side every two to three inches and then weld it to the, the inner rocker to the outer rocker. And like I said, we're going to replace all that rusty stuff there. Unreal. Oh, well. So that's it. That's getting there now. A lot of work underneath the floor pan at least it'll be we're gonna have to straighten all that up up there but it's no big deal but uh it's gonna be good it's all gonna be new all right it's all there's that outer the uh sorry there's that uh section they put on there and they've just tack welded it on there so gonna take it all off re-weld it properly have to be done there you go all right next is getting that tail pan section getting the trunk aligned properly Okay, so we've got the floor pan um, bolted in. Two bolts in here. There's one right over here. And one bolt over here. You can just see it there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is these are already installed. As you know, these have been replaced. So uh, we need to realign these. Uh, whoever did it, just put them in. They just... Uh, they really didn't measure, measure anything over here. Here's the problem over here. Um, they're not they're not sitting in all the way in. You can tell by by looking at this how this goes out on the angle. It goes sort of like on this angle. So we're gonna I'm gonna break open these welds. I'm gonna sit it so it goes in the whole the whole uh, repair corner goes in. Uh, as you can see, they've got. It's got cracking here. That's because they've just spot welded that on there. And I'll finish welding that up properly. I'll close the edge, uh, the, I'll close the trunk. Okay. Now you'll see that once I, I've got a good line up through there. 
I've got a sort of decent line where the tail pan is clamped into position. So I need to get this panel. I'm just trying to hold this in. Uh, I need to get this panel, this repair panel, I need to go in with it. And then these are super, super wide, sort of a, uh, a sorry, a very round sort of, it's not as sharp or crisp as this. So I need to probably cut this open and make it so it matches these profiles here. Obviously, this is too round and that's, um, probably how it's got to be right there you see so I'm going to do that and this other side is just a mess so we'll do one side at a time you can see all this sort of garbage here we'll repair that up properly um, so first I'll start with this one I'll take the welds off here or we'll grind the welds off here I'll grind the welds off here move it in get that lined up I'll be back so I got carried away as usual um, got all this sort of set up right I uh, have to make some sections up here where uh, they had overcut the top of this on and they cut them away so now I have to tack them flat so you know I'm gonna have to try to fill up all these holes here and I'll pretty much the same as I did here so that's that's uh, that's that section here now we're working on this side again we had to take out the panel completely so we're going to rework that and get that into, into the right spot. And I'll be back once we get a close to show you the gap with the, uh, the trunk lid to the tail pan. But uh, yeah, it's getting there. Once I weld all that up, it'll be solid again. It's pretty hard trying to fix up other people's work, but you know, it's, uh, if it was original, it'd be a lot easier, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so in the end, I had to, I think I explained it once already, I had to cut this out completely. Um, it was completely in the wrong spot. I think it was too high and it was too high up and it was sticking out and it was forcing the tail pan out a mile. Um, so I cut it back out and reinstalled it uh, where it's supposed to be. Same on that side, cut that one out uh, reinstalled that uh, that was definitely up to uh, was up too high so I had to cut it off and lower it um, so now uh, I still yet to tack the tail pan I'm not going to tack the tail pan until I get these sections here or uh, you know or weld it up again so I'm going to make sections up next that's the, the next thing I'm going to do get all the sides of these uh, in the right spot then I'll tack all this area from here and that will put the strength back into the body even without the tubs this trunk will shut and stay latched and not lose its uh, its gaps so here it is here so I'm just holding that down because there's obviously no latch but you know a decent gap through here it's up uh, through there not bad through there up through here down there and good gap at the back so good side gap up here these dry fires are never uh, never good for gaps anyway so so that's the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna lift it up in the air and start making the the uh the rear floor areas that were rusted out that i uh, showed earlier all right i'll be back Okay, so kind of like skip forward again. Uh, got all this, uh, got the tail pan on, put on the latch brace as well, all welded down. Um, like I said, had to rework these corners, put them in the right spot. This was up too high and kicking out on an angle, so it was way up here and it was kicking out that way, so I had to cut it all free. Um, same with this side this side here was uh, too high as well but it was in line a little bit it all was it kicked I can't remember but uh, they're ready for a bit of glass over the welds first um, I had to make these sections down there I'll lift a, the uh, car up to show you that part but uh, like I said uh, the underneath of the pan has been uh, sorry the underneath of the tail pan has been welded as well and uh, you can tell by the penetration so that's done uh, looks pretty good up through there 
down here and the trunk closes I haven't we haven't adjusted any of the latches but oh, hang on. oh that blocked in <laughs> so that's uh, on and I'll lift it up okay so as you can see I built all the bottom of this all the way from here it comes across to here and wraps around to here I had to uh, drop all this area back down where it was it was all rusted away so made it from that section all the way across there up the top wherever you see there's a that black line is is where I made that um, outer sorry the inner quarter panel so that come up good um, same with this side over here um, put a section in there and made all this section up same goes all the way and then it wraps up to here and it gets spot welded up into here same with this side it gets spot welded up here so that's all done next thing we're going to do is these dog lead sections um, I think it's necessary to get that done now pretty bad let's get let's get into it okay guys so so um starting on this dog leg section as you can see the inner on the inside here is rotted out i've cut out this section here for this return here so i'm going to put a strip in here first then i'm going to cut this away and put a strip in it here and there it is there and then there's a piece that goes all the way over to the new piece and turns a 45 around so I'm going to start with the outside piece and then I'm going to start on the rusted out piece that's in here. Get all this sort of situated. Um, yeah, you can buy these outside panels. They come up. They're all one piece. You can just lob it off here, here. But um, it's Monday, Memorial Day, and I wouldn't get that delivered to the end of the week, maybe next. And for this small section, I can make it. So that's what I'm going to do. Save money. All right, guys. So... I jumped forward again. I made a couple of pieces here. That light's pretty bright there, isn't it? Okay, that moves out of the way. So I made this section here, this outer section that goes around here. Had to cut away all the, it was all rusty through here and this side panel here as well. So this goes, you know, for this return lip here. Um, you can buy, like I said, you can buy this panel, but like I said, we, I'm not gonna wait around and buy it. And I made a, I, also made this section here on the inside that's continuation of the inner structure here so and that gets it, it's all welded in there and i've got a, this other piece here so this i'm going to do in two sections i think it's going to be easy to manage but that's going to be put into here like that and then i'm going to make a bottom piece so that'll take care of the outer and inner structure of the wheel housing i'm going to put a return here i think there was some return that sticks to the bottom of this and we'll have a couple of spot welds but that's sitting there this pink stuff here is navel gel and i just put it in behind that seam there there's uh no rust there but it just help you know clean it all up it's all new metal anyway so so that's that there and then once i get all this all buttoned up i've got to put this there's a uh a whole heap of mess up there so i gotta start cleaning that up and i gotta work out what i'm gonna do in there but it won't be bad also there's a bit of rust here i've got to cut out a section here and replace that and that should take care of that whole area it'll be all like good again so there's that and i'll get into it so this section's uh pretty much done i made uh this section this section up to here so well from here down from this section here and i made this section here also there's a section on the inside i'll show you that as well but uh that that all had rust here this wasn't even there it was just full of rust so that's pretty good obviously it requires some sort of filler i'm gonna kind of like blend all this back out and put some filler there and make it look good but uh you know it's all it's all steel so no rust there anymore um yeah it looks good i'll show you the inside okay so this is the other dog leg section um this is the obviously from the tub looking in and this is the sort of stuff they've done here put patches on it and bondo and 
sections here and this is the good side this is the good side compared to that side um all this inner is all rotted away i don't think i've ever seen one so bad but the inner is all gone that usually doesn't um rot out like that this thing's been somewhere where it's got salty or maybe or salty roads whatever i mean it's pretty bad rusty okay and this is the other side I had to put a piece in there, I had to put a piece on the side of the inner quarter panel there, well the inside of the dog leg section, and a piece up there. I had to make this section here where the wind lacing sits. Uh, that section I haven't done yet, I've got to still do that, but I'm waiting for the tub to get in there so I can join it to the tub. So, I mean, a ton of work there to make that. I think if you go around this side, all this is done. Had to make all this up again. And this channel, here's that channel up through here. And you can tell by the other side on that one, um, the rot inside there, just, it's bad. And that side's not as bad as this side, but it's all rotten right up into that. I've never seen them rotten up that high. Pretty bad. Anyway, so, put the tub in next. So I got the tub sitting in position. Um, I don't know what they were doing here. The tub was actually lower than the original tub. Um, so that's where that was. So um, we're gonna have to take this off, but we've got it flat this way. We've got the front edge flat, and we've got, we're gonna, it's got a bow on it at the moment because the tin work is bowing. So uh, we're gonna uh, attach this section here back on. This section here, that'll go in there, back to the floor pan, and then the tin work will attach to that. So I'm going to do that first. Like I said, we've got it all on there at the moment. Now, also, when I get that done, I've got to build all that again, which was all rusted out. So all that gets attached to the tub, and it'll uh, look way better. So that's where we are. Let me get into it, and uh, I'll be back. Hi right, guys, that's it for today. Um, we done a fair bit, it doesn't seem like it, but uh, it's taken forever to do this. Got the tub welded back in the right position. Um, I remember early in the video, I said how I was gonna cut the flange off and re-weld it. Well, that worked out really good. So that's been welded back on. Um, just tack welded the, the tub uh, back over to the quarter panel. That worked out good. Uh, got a nice gap up there. Just got to finish welding the uh, the flange back onto the floor pan, and we just put a couple of tacks. Uh, we just put it through a couple of tacks up there to hold the tub, and then I've got to, got to make a piece there. I've got to join the floor back there. So there's still a ton of work to do. Um, I'll come around this side. Still got to make all that join the tub we're going to make a flange area down there that's just going to have an l sort of flange around there to there join the front of the tub finish off that section there uh, that's missing and then make all that so there's a good day left just in this side um getting all this sort of done and and then that'll be one tub done and then start it all again on this side terrible so that's it for this video. Join us for the next one. I'll pretty much repeat this side. I don't know if we're gonna do it in any more detail because we didn't really show how that went in, but me and Steve did stress out putting that in, but it's back where it's supposed to be. It's flat this way, it's flat that way. The ends are pretty good. Um, you know, don't forget guys, we, we're repurposing what they, what was with the car, we're trying to save money. The only thing we bought new was uh, the t the uh, floor the uh, trunk floor pan uh, we reused the um, hang on I'll come back around we reused the tail pan we reused these corners um, so you know we made sections up and you know for the quarter panels the inner quarter panels there so we remade the uh, hang on let me we can't really see it now but we re remade the uh, inside of the uh, re, uh, 
we remade the dog leg section inside outside and the brace panel so that's all done now all nice so didn't really buy anything for it other than the floor pan the rest of it is all um, fabricated or repurposed I mean surely we could have bought some new tubs before once they're all painted you're not gonna know got to take this off that was where the height of the floor was originally um, so you know the tub was it was rolled down it was it was wrong it was really wrong so now we've got the tub up higher um, I'm gonna add a section here gonna join this up here gonna finish welding all that seam seal it and then uh, you know get it into a uh, into a some sort of a paint um, what are we going to use again, Steve? Sure. What are we going to use for paint in there? Like a bed liner? Yeah, probably. Probably we're going to use a bed liner in here, so a fine bed liner, almost like a gravel stop, the really fine yeah, one. Yeah, it's like a, a barrier skin. Well. Oh, yeah. But uh, we're going to put the braces on yet. There's still some work. Hey, when you cut up half a back of the car that never ever shut. I mean, I don't even know if we showed this part, but... Oh, no, it lied to me, Steve. There you go. There you go. Gaps are good all the way around. We got this car here. The trunk never closed. It never had a tr uh, closing trunk. Never. So, there you go. 57 Chevrolet. Whole new rear floor pan install. Tile pan. Corners, corners, wheel tubs. Oh my god. Dog leg corners. What a nightmare. Alright guys. I'm probably filthy dirty. I've been working all day. Uh, please like, subscribe. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go check them out. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. Um, I know a lot of people watch the videos. All 250. and um, Which is alright. You know, I wish I had more subscribers and people watch my video so if you get a chance guys subscribe tell a friend and there you go 57 chevy see you later